Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I personally have over five years worth of experience in making YouTube content across two different YouTube channels where I've made over a total of 1,600 videos within five years. And yes, you heard me right, 1,600 videos. So I wanted to share with you, me as a YouTube content creator for such a long period of time, as to why you should not start a YouTube channel, which you may be thinking to yourself, why are you saying that if you've made YouTube videos for so long and so many of them, you still make them to the today. I want to say this is not a broad statement whatsoever. I'm not saying no one should whatsoever, but if you're someone that wants to work out as to some of the reasons why you should not start a YouTube channel, I recommend you watch this video from start to finish because I'm going to talk about a few different reasons that are going to make you aware of if it's good for you to be making YouTube content or not. So if that interests you, make sure you watch this video from start to finish. So the first one, and this is one of the most important ones, is if you're doing it for the wrong reasons, then there is not a good enough reason and start a YouTube channel whatsoever and you should not begin doing that whatsoever. And you may be thinking, well, what do you actually mean? So I'm gonna to explain to you now. So if you're someone that's getting into it for say the fame or money, then that is not a good enough reason to be making YouTube content whatsoever. Yes, it can be a byproduct over a period of time of growing a successful channel that you're working on consistently, but it shouldn't be the main focus. The main focus, and I say this with any job that you wanna pursue in life, you can apply this to, is you want to be doing Doing it for a right reason. When I say the right reason, I mean you want to do it because you love to do it. It's your purpose and passion. You love being a content creator. You love making videos. You love sharing whatever you're going to share through your video content. And it's just what makes you feel alive. It's what gets you out of bed. It's what brings you so much happiness and fulfillment and satisfaction within yourself and within your life. Because I'm telling you now, if you do it for the wrong reasons, yes, you can do that. But so many people do this with their jobs. How many people do you see around you that are just chasing the job that they do? Do that brings them a lot of dissatisfaction and it's killing them from the inside out where they're just doing it to get paycheck to paycheck every single month. Almost everyone in existence does that. And it's just not gonna bring you your greatest joy. And it's just gonna have such a negative effects on your emotional body, your mental health, your physical health. And it's just not the route to go down. I've done this with things before to earn a lot of money. And I just get to a point of breaking point where I'm like, no, I can't do this anymore. It is literally just destroying me. So if you're someone that wants to make YouTube content, really ask yourself why you're doing it. And make sure you're doing it for the right reasons and when you're doing it for the right reasons it's going to be way easier to actually stick it out consistently over a long period of time to get the results you desire and number two would be if you're someone that lives in what i call the microwave world which is like also known as instant gratification which most people are like this where you want everything to happen overnight really really quick results and you don't have a lot of patience don't start youtube channel because it takes a lot of grinding over a very long period of time for the majority of people Yes, some people are overnight success, but 99.99% .99 of people are not. You need to be willing to be very patient and disciplined. And I'm telling you, it took me two years until I started seeing my YouTube channel massively grow because the two years prior to that point, I was hardly getting any views, subscribers whatsoever. I'm telling you, the majority of the people, which will bring back to number one quickly, that doesn't absolutely love it, will definitely quit and give up because who wouldn't in their right mind if you don't really, really love it? So yeah, patience is the key. And this is pretty much the same with anything in life that you want to achieve with any specific goals. So don't give up early and just keep going and going and going. And it may seem for a while you're just flatlining, but it can get to a point where a lot of people quit just as they're about to succeed. And you get to what is known as that tipping point where you start to see massive curves, which I started to see after a two year period. Number three, if you're someone that doesn't like hard freaking work and you just want to flail around in life and do this thing and that thing and go and party with your friends and just be like not disciplined whatsoever then don't bother at all because I'm telling you people that get really successful and do really well on YouTube they have put in a lot of hours hours and hours and hours and hours and they dedicate the majority of their week normally to making YouTube content and I can say that from my own personal experience a lot of people that I listen to as well if you're someone that just wants an easy simple life then don't bother making a YouTube account unless you're just doing it for fun and you don't want to write in a way where it becomes really really successful and big then that's absolutely fine but if you're someone that just wants the easy life go and get a job in Walmart or some other job that 
isn't going to bring you your greatest joy but it's just easy it's very simple basic you just go there and you do the hours you're going to do with youtube it's like you have so many hours even when you're not making a video editing a video you're thinking about making videos and ideas for thumbnails descriptions there's so many things so it's on your mind a lot so again if you don't love it you're not going to like that so if you want the easy life don't bother and that's pretty much going to be the same with any entrepreneurial job that you are creating for yourself in comparison to if you just get a job at a company to tell you what to do and it's just way way simpler and this is going to be the last one and that is number four and this is a very very important one if you don't like people being critical of you and giving you negative feedback and saying things about you that can have a negative influence on you and you want the acceptance of people and you don't like people just criticizing you then do not start a youtube channel whatsoever because i'm going to tell you not everyone is going to love you i've had a lot of hate pretty much every youtuber has these people that love you these people that hate you you're not going to make everyone love you and not everyone is just going to be completely in alignment with you where they love you as a person your personality and so forth if you're not willing to face a lot of negativity and face what it brings up in you emotionally then don't start it whatsoever because i can tell you there's quite a few people that don't think about this they get into youtube and they could do quite well and i've seen this time and time again with a lot of different people out there where they just get so much negative critical feedback sent towards them that they didn't ask for from so many people and it has a negative effect on their self-image their confidence levels their self-esteem and just many other things within themselves that just makes them not feel good so you need to learn to just realize people are going to do that detach yourself from that don't go into it don't throw any slander back at these people just know that they're people hurting on the inside and they're just keyboard warriors behind the keyboard they're just like to hurt other people because they got some stuff going on where they're not actually happy inside so you should actually feel empathy and compassion and yes i know we live in a world as a human and have this amazing human experience but we want to be accepted by everyone but that's just not the world we live in and i tell you that i've been in newspapers before and then i've had so many people from like looking at news and newspapers that then come and hate on my youtube channel and had hundreds of negative comments really really nasty ones that are not true and it's just like okay thanks for sharing that with me thanks for helping me and when i say helping me they allow me to be a better person rise above it not let it affect me and just move on with my life and i will never let haters get me down whatsoever i just know that i'm living the best life ever and they're really not happy people and they're trying to bring me down to their level and their vibration and i'm just not gonna let it happen full stop no matter how hard they try and you may need to learn some things online of how to not care about other people's opinions about you i did some inner work on this a long time ago and generally i'm not a person that gets affected by other random people's negative comments about me it's a bit different if it's like a family member or a girlfriend or something like that then that's completely understandable but when you've got these keyboard warriors that just behind a keyboard and you don't even know who they are it's like why do you need to take on what they say about you just ignore them and just move on your life and just make the choice to only allow people that are saying really good things about you and giving you feedback really influenced you and you could just apply this to people that are in your friend circles as well it's just an additional tip make sure that you surround yourself with the right people that believe in you and push yourself to your greatness and that bring you up rather than down you don't want negative fearful pessimistic people around you want optimistic people that believe in you and have faith in you and really help you on your own personal mission and one last thing i add on to that is the people that throw this slander towards you they want you to go down to their level so you can feel as bad as them so yeah just rise above it be like no not today i'm rising above see you later have fun with whatever is going on in your whole negative pessimistic experience <laughs> so yeah and I'm telling you, I have a lot of experience with this. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And it's a brilliant self-development tool because it helps you bring that into other areas of life where if you get people say things, you don't get so affected by it, you don't whatsoever. And it don't let it break you down whatsoever and make you change your view towards yourself and having a whole negative impact on your whole entire life. One last thing I want to add on to the end, and this is not a reason as to why you shouldn't start a YouTube channel, but what I want to say is that if you're someone that really wants to push yourself to grow and evolve in many a different benefits beneficial positive ways for you and your life and everyone around you youtube is one of those brilliant self-development tools because for me i used to be really uncomfortable on camera now i'm really comfortable on camera which has built my self-esteem my confidence levels and it's just affected my life in many different positive ways and also working on not letting other people's opinions affect me so if you're someone that wants to become the best version of yourself and a better version of yourself and improve yourself in so many more ways than i could possibly explain to you that you would just learn through making youtube content over a period of time then youtube is a brilliant thing to do that and i'm telling you do you know how many people that i meet that say they want to start a youtube channel so many people on such a regular basis if i got given a dollar for every time someone said that to me i would be earning a lot of money from that so yeah if out of all those four things i mentioned as to why you should not start a youtube channel if you're not like ticking yes 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 for any of those then definitely start a youtube channel it's something that i absolutely love to do it's a brilliant platform and it's also a brilliant way to meet so many like-minded people I met so many like-minded people face to face 
that are my subscribers on my YouTube channels. So yeah, which is really, really good. So got to meet loads of amazing people around it as well. So yeah. I love it. So that is it for this video. And if you're someone that normally watches my YouTube channel, you know that I pretty much never make content talking about things to do with YouTube. It's normally videos on weight loss, calisthenics, which is known as body weight training, intermittent fasting, what I eat, and doing the day videos, vlog style videos. So if you're someone that wants to receive more videos like that that I've just mentioned, and if you'd like me to make more YouTube content videos like this one, let me know down below. And if you want to receive those other videos that I talked about, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go get those gains. Peace.